it's your girl tina welcome back to the channel we're here for our fresh fruit friday can somebody tell him thank you all right fresh fruit friday is kicking off with cards on this week and i showed you all once before this paper pad in a previous video of all of these different fruits. This is a pad that came from, um, what is it called? Paper Tray Ink. Don't know, I think this discontinued. I'm not for sure, but you can always go and check. But this is the paper pad. All right, so this is the card that I created. Card number one, cherry theme with that paper. And then I uh, put a sentiment, bear good fruit. So this is a um, torn, rip type effect of a card. What I did was I went and embossed a sheet of white cardstock using this embossing folder right here, Cherry Licious. This is a desire, I guess embossing folder have been having this in my stash for a while i use that to emboss some white card stock and look at those cherries just beautiful once i embossed the car stock i ripped it in half tearing out the middle piece all right i went and took the pattern paper and cut it down to the size of the card and adhered the two panels on each end at the top and at the bottom and you can see that i inked using my uh powder puff chalky ink this is by quick quotes these are still available and i inked up the edges in the front just to give it a little bit more color now, this Bear Good Fruit, once again, I use that Simply Stamp Simply stamp set. These are still available for the Bear Good Fruit. And then for on the inside, I used a die to cut out a mat. And then I stamped this cherry on here. And that's a cherry from the Stamps of Life. These are still available. I really like the way the card turned out. Over here, I took my um, wheel. Oh, I'm knocking stuff over. Sorry, everyone. Um, where's my wheel? And I just had it using it on something else. I can't find it. I'm sorry. But I use my wheel to just make some indentations. I really like the way the card turned out. All right, so this is card number one. Bear good fruit. Okay. The next card that I did from that same paper pad. This time I chose the bear, not bear, the pear paper. And I thought it went great with this Flowers and Pears Sizzix embossing folder. Okay. So I embossed the paper. I did the same technique. I tore out the middle, inked the edges, and adhered it to the top, each end of the pattern paper. Once again, I used Thinking of You which is a stamp set from Stamp Simply. I really, really like it. On this card, I inked the edges all the way around versus this card, I just inked it in the middle. I really, really, really like the way this card came out as well. In the inside, I matted some white cardstock. I used my wheel again, and then I stamped a pair with this, um, this is a Studio G Hampton Arts pair uh, stamp. 
and it's just so funny because it has the same markings basically that the pair on the pattern paper have so I just thought that went really really well together okay so that's card number two we have another card here is card number three using the same tearing effect just different ways so on this card I took some green cardstock I layered it underneath this watermelon pattern paper I tore the paper back exposing the green cardstock and then I stamped fresh and fabulous really like the way that this card came out now this is a pattern paper from um, Michaels in their open paper um, section had this in there in my stash for a while they also have this paper this is not from Michaels this is from Joanne's I apologize Joanne fabric open paper section all right so for that fresh and fabulous once again I used that stamp simple simply um sentiment right there and this this card is just so beautiful to me refreshing all right and on the inside i cut out a mat and then i stamped i pick you every time which is a sentiment from this Con concord and ninth strawberry stamp set okay really like the way that the third card turned out so all of these cards have a tearing effect and I just love it love it love it all right moving right along card number four I took a card base out of my stash that I already had I layered some red paper on top and then I went in and embossed a sheet of white cardstock and for this one I used this cuddle book embossing folder had this in my stash for a long time what I did is after I embossed it I took my lime aid chalky ink and just gently rubbed it on top and it gives you just the ink right on the top of those flowers. I really like how that turned out. Okay. What I did was took a little strip of the watermelon paper. Adhered it to the back of this white cardstock. Pulled and tore the cardstock back. Exposing the watermelon and the sentiment. You are one in a million sentiment comes from this um, stamps of life strawberry I mean watermelon set okay Stephanie Bernard and that's what I stamped right there for my sentiment really like how this card turned out on the inside I did a double mat have a sweet day and enjoy is also from this stamps of life set stamp set here all right now for all of the mats of the cards i use these elizabeth postage stamp squares and i also use the elizabeth postage stamps rectangles to make my mats for the inside okay and I just really really had fun playing with this tearing effect I, I like it now I want to talk about before I end the video the rolling once I tear the paper I go in and I cut majority of the paper off because you don't want the bulk that's number one. And then I simply just take a tool that I could use 
to roll the paper back. And I adhered some beacons right here on the edge. And I held it in place for a few seconds so that it could catch and begin to dry. And that's how you get the roll effect. Okay. So once again, once I tear the paper, I go in and cut off a lot of that paper so it won't be bulky. All right. So these are my cards for this episode of um, Fresh Fruit Fridays. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them the best that I can. I love to see your comments on what you think. Which card do you like? Which um, tearing effect do you like best? Do you like the one with the roll? Or do you like the one without the roll? What do you think? What's your preference? I had fun with these, uh, making these cards. And uh, yeah, so we got one more week left in July to um, uh, play around with our fruit uh, crafty items in our stash. You're more than welcome to come and join me for our last go round next Friday. Till next time, everybody stay blessed, keep creating, and your girl Tina see you in the next video. Happy Fresh Fruit Friday, everybody.